a.m. Saturdays on WDAY. is the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ince. Brought to you by Gate City Bank for a better way of life and Pepsi. Welcome on into the Bison Football Show along with Coach Entz. I'm Sam Niederman as we wrap things up from NDSU's home opener inside the Fargo Dome. Bison victorious against Maine, 44 to seven, the final. And Coach, what a win for the squad. Yep. Congratulations. First half there, little squeaky, a hiccup here and there, but yep. second half you come out and dominate, win it on your own terms. Uh, we did. Uh, you know, early in the game we just had some red zone mishaps, uh, some you know inopportune time. Uh, penalties got in our own way a little bit could have easily scored four touchdowns uh, early in the game came away with three field goals and a and a stop on fourth and goal but it was good like you said came out won the middle eight the fat last four minutes of, of this of the first half and the first four of the second half um, which is always I think a critical time you know having that great momentum going into halftime and coming out of the second half Coach, both of the quarterbacks showed plenty of great things today. Yep. Cam efficient through the air, making plays with his feet, and then Cole Payton very good in the second half. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's great. To, two very capable quarterbacks playing for us, and Cam had another, I think it was 14 and 19, uh, throwing the football, and I bet if you take a couple drops away, it could have been even even more so than that. And uh, I know we missed a big shake uh, on the vertical down there that would have probably had this place rocking a little bit. But you know, both quarterbacks do a tremendous job of the preparation. Um, w when you see them together, they're you know as you know as thick as thieves. They're always together, always watching film. Um, so it doesn't shock you when you see success from both of them. Defensively, you had a shutout going late with the starters, and you had four takeaways as well, Coach. Right. You know. The, the touchdown at the end, we had a lot of threes in. We, we dressed uh, probably more than normal. I think we had 88 guys dressed on the sideline, but they, they all deserve to have that first experience being in the DeFargo Dome and got a lot of kids, a lot of, a lot of reps today during valuable time and just experience. And so uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited where we're at. We did very uh, opportunistic defense, got after the football, a couple interceptions, got the ball on the ground a few times, and it was exciting to see us fly around early. Definitely, Coach. Let's take a look at our first half highlights presented by Gate City Bank. Why we are underway from the Fargo Dome. Happy birthday to the Dome, turning 30 this year. This will be returned to the seven-yard line. And a host of buys in there on the tackle. It's a three on that reception. Robertson will go over the middle. That's hauled in there by Jones. He fumbled the football. That's scooped up. Miller, under pressure, got hit as he throws, gets that out, that's complete. Lippy made the reception, he's immediately hauled down though. So Krosa into attempt a field goal. Low snap there, nice job of the hold by Steindorf. And the kick good, as Krosa continues his impressive job kicking in the last year and a half. Trust down in distance, it's third down and eight. Robertson flushed again, slings this, intercepted! It's picked off, Logan Kopp with the pick! What a start to the season for this guy. He's still on his feet. He's finally brought down to the 23-yard line. His third career interception. Krosa will try again here. And he continues to be money. That one is good from 40 yards out. And since you saw on the screen here, third and 12. Robertson will go to the outside. Lampson catches that. Going to be well short of the first down as Wadarsik and Sam Young's last week in the win over Eastern Washington. Over the middle for Zach Mathis, who hauls it in. He needed every inch of the six foot seven frame. Look at him smiling after that. Red zone for the 19 yard line as Miller goes over the middle. Stuffle with the reception, trying to lean forward. And he's inside the five. They're going to mark him down. Goal attempt here of the first half. This from 31 yards. Up. And it is good. A perfect three for three for Krosa. But that's the only buys in offense. Miller flushed here. Now he's going to take it himself. Makes a nice cut. He's still on his feet. 
How about that run from Cam Miller? He gets all the way down to the 22-yard line and picks up 14. Miller walks in, touchdown, North Dakota State. Finally, the end zone, the Bison say. All righty, let's check on our first half stats presented by Nodak Insurance. Coach, you guys lead this one 16 to nothing at the break. Punch it into the end zone there in the two-minute situation. Uh, and we're able to have the ball for the majority of that first half, an advantage in time of possession. Right, well, we, we did a complimentary football. Uh, defensively, we were able to create some short field opportunities for our offense. Um, like you said, have the ball majority of the time. It, it was a while before they even probably had a first down in the first half. We did a really good job of getting them off the field and or creating takeaways. Um, change of possessions are positive. Doesn't matter if, it, if it's punt on downs or, or traditional takeaways. But um, offensively, we did a really good job in between the 20s. And just, you know, once we got the thing inside the 10, we, you know, kind of stalled out, got in our own way. And so, you know, I, I know our kids know that already. That's, that's, that's a sign of a mature group. And we'll get back to work on those things next week. 16 nothing at the half. We will have our second half highlights coming for you after this. Teamwork, talent, dedication, leadership. These values that win championships on the field, build community, improve lives, and make a difference every single day. For you, for our neighbors, for our community, for a better way of life. Gates City Bank. Champions work hard and champions play hard, but none of it happens without the rest and recovery that comes from a good night's sleep. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is the official sleep partner of the NDSU Bison. And just like the herd, they're a proud company founded in North Dakota with North Dakota values and tradition. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is a third generation company now at the showroom in Fargo, offering premium mattresses to help you take your sleep seriously. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems, located on 13th Avenue. You're going to love sleeping with us. Orthopedic pain is limiting. It's unpredictable. And when it disrupts the way you move, it disrupts the way you live. Life is better when you feel empowered to move the way you want, when you want. And that's where our experts come in. We're your guides to orthopedic and sports medicine treatment options that can manage your pain, rehab your injuries, and restore your confidence. Take back the freedom to move. Explore your orthopedic options at Sanford Health. Hi, I'm Dr. Arden Beachy, Medical Director at Swanson Hyperbarics and former Bison quarterback. We all know that injuries are part of the game. We treat concussions, ankle sprains, and everything in between. Our goal is to safely return athletes back to the action and have them performing at their best. Whether it's hyperbaric oxygen therapy, the ozone hocket, or magnetic therapy, our technologies will reduce inflammation quickly and speed up the healing process. Call Swanson Hyperbarics today and find out how we can help you. Exclusively at Halberstadt's West Acres Mall, discover the largest selection of Jack Victor suits and sport coats with our entire stock marked down to half price. With a legacy of craftsmanship spanning generations, each Jack Victor piece outfits you with a versatile style that offers timeless appeal for any occasion. Experience the everyday elegance Jack Victor menswear has to offer. Elevate your wardrobe today. Visit Halberstadt's West Acres Mall for half off our entire Jack Victor suit and sport coat inventory. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Back here on the Bison Football Show with Coach Entz, I'm Sam Niederman, and Coach, second half, 16-0 lead coming out of the locker room. You guys get a terrific drive to we open did. up that third quarter. We did. That was, that was exciting. Challenged them uh, at halftime. Just, hey, we got to get out of our own way. Everything else is, is, is we're efficient. 
except when we get in the red zone. And so uh, it was fun. I think the first three plays of the second half were pass plays. We were taking some access throws. They were playing off at the corners position, threw some hitches out there, and those turned into big plays. We, you know, just methodically moved the ball down the field and got it in the end zone. And like I said before, starting the second half with that type of drive was critical for us when it was still 16 to nothing coming out of the halftime. Coach, defensively, Cole Wisniewski is a magnet for the football here these first two weeks. He gets two more picks of that second half. He is, and probably right before was it right before half, he should add another one potentially on that cover two play where he laid out and almost made a, an unbelievable catch. But he, he's a veteran player. He has a lot of snaps under his belt, not necessarily at the safety position, but as a football player. And so for him to get out here to communicate, um, for him to make plays, I don't think it's shocking. Um, it, it, it's great to see him now being able two weeks in a row to have great success, uh, a great open field tackler, doing a lot of positives for Cole Green right now. Coach, how about that run by Cole there, the 61-yarder? Explosive player. And we knew that when we recruited him. Uh, he continues to prove those things. Two weeks in a row, he has runs over 60 yards that end up in touchdowns. Um, dynamic player. And that's why we got to find ways to get him on the field because he's one of our you know, top 15, 16, 17 players offensively. And um, we got to find ways to be able to utilize those skills. That was certainly a highlight. There were plenty of them in the second half. Let's take a look. Second half highlights are presented by Gate City Bank. Here's that main movement. This time the buys and holds still. Miller fakes, waits, touchdown, North Dakota State. Second rushing touchdown of the day for Cam Miller. They bring the house. Robertson over the middle. Intercepted. Wisniewski with his second pick in his many games. And he's still on his feet and brought down at the 45-yard line. He almost had a pick earlier in the game, and now he gets another. Play off the board as Peyton will keep this one again, and this might be another long run. It is down the sidelines, almost got it all back. He's pushed out of bounds. Peyton gets the ball at its own 33-yard line as Robertson hit as he threw it, intercepted again. Wisniewski has another one. Unbelievable. He's got three in a game and a half. Go to work with four minutes remaining in the half as Peyton pump fakes, wants to throw it. That one hauled in by Mathis for a first down. Fourth down and goal to go. Peyton fakes, keeps it. Touchdown, North Dakota State. Peyton's place is the end zone. Second down and 12. Peyton eludes one. Still with it. Eludes another. Now up the field. Down the sideline. He's going to cut back in. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Touchdown. North Dakota State. He did it again. Touchdown. We'll do it all over again from the 46 on a first down and 10. It's Robertson. Down he goes. There's the first sack of the game. And it looks like it belongs to Marcus Gully. We featured him this morning. Just shake your head out here on a first down. Here's Barika Penu. Penu with some speed down the sideline. He's going to be pushed out of bounds. Back. And he'll get it. Leans forward. Touchdown, North Dakota State. Owen Johnson with his first career score. North Dakota State off to a 2-0 start after a 44-7 win over the University of Maine. Already, Coach, taking a check of our final stats and another big performance on the ground for you guys. 264 yards on the ground, 456 of total offense, and a big time of possession advantage, 35 to 25. Yep, anytime we can be on the field uh, and win the time of possession, we feel like we have a, a good chance of being successful. And both sides of the ball, special teams all very complimentary of one, one another. Um, you know, again, had some, had some, uh, 
missteps in, in the red zone, but yeah, look, Griff does a great job with our with our field goals and PATs, and you know to get us nine points defensively, creating takeaways, extra possessions offensively, and then being efficient on early downs and being able to convert those third downs is is a winning formula. And if we can continuously keep getting better weekly, shore up some of the things that maybe we didn't do as well this week, and uh, I'm excited to get back to work on Monday. No doubt about it. Let's go over to Logan Campbell, who is. NODAC insurance player of the game, Cam Miller. We just needed to play smart football. You know, we had too many penalties in the first half, so we just tried to clean that up in the second half. 68 rushing yards, two rushing touchdowns for you today. What allowed you to be so good on the ground? The guys up front, for sure. You know, they do a great job of, you know, making holes for me and Cole to run through, also the running backs. Uh, you know, I kind of feel bad for stealing some of those touchdowns from the running backs, though. First win at home in front of a crowd. How does it feel? feels great. You know, we have the best fan base in the entire country, and, and, and I feel like the whole team is so thankful for them. Thank you, Logan. Coach, no doubt about it, Kim Miller, a spark plug for the offense this afternoon. He was. He was. Did a, did a nice job. Very efficient with the football. Uh, found, found the open receivers, took some access throws. Uh, Hurt him with his legs as well. Um, and so, you know, a good, solid game. I'm sure we'll, we'll want to continue to improve. We'll find things that we can we can get better on. But uh, I'm excited how he's playing right now. And he's playing like a guy who's started 25, 26 games in his career. And I uh, want him to continue to push the envelope and help our offense be the best that they can. More to come here on the Bison Football Show. When we come back, Dom Izzo will catch up with running back Owen Johnson. That's next. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Teamwork. Talent. Dedication. Leadership. These values that win championships on the field. Build community. Improve lives and make a difference every single day. For you, for our neighbors, for our community, for a better way of life. Gate City Bank. We're all players in the waiting game. Whether that's for the day's first flight, the first shot, or the first retrieve. Entire off seasons of prep and practice all pointed at that singular moment each of us live for. First light. Because that's when it all becomes real. And it's finally your time to shine. Shields. The stories we share are more than just words. They are unseen conversations and interviews. They are hours of research and dedication. They are the stories that connect us with the truth and with each other. We are honored to share your stories. Another rock and roll weekend. Burgers, better with Pepsi. Welcome back to the Bison Football Show with Coach Ince and this week's Olaf Anderson feature. Dom Izzo caught up with sophomore running back Owen Johnson. Few people probably understand Owen the role from walk on scout team. Just to, just describe that of what every day is like. So as a freshman, I uh, played scout uh, receiver and like honestly at first it was kind of like uh, like changing positions I've never played receiver but looking back on it it was just like a blessing in disguise like I got to learn the whole playbook what everybody's doing Is there ever a time though you're like man I feel like I'm bashing my head against the wall I'm not moving up maybe um there might be something else where I can play I can get on the field today. I mean there is like some thoughts like uh like you know I'm playing scout team receiver and stuff like that but I just always knew like I've, always, I've talked to my parents all the time about it like I just got to keep working hard and I just know like I just always have bet on myself that's why I came here instead of a place where I could go play D2 on scholarship and play where I just want I just knew that if I could get a spot somewhere like I could just work super hard and the only thing that could happen is just good things. On the toss to Owen Johnson. Look at the nice move there. 
Johnson's still on his feet. He won't go down. Coach Jens told me yesterday, you had the best run of the day on Saturday. When you hear that, what goes through your mind? It's just, it's just amazing. Just like we just talked about, like going from scout team and stuff and just finally like things are really starting to pay off just all those hard work like the workouts with Kramer in the winter and stuff and like just being able to finally like just get some opportunities and capitalize on them is just super super deserving it's just a place where I feel like once you learn to buy in and work really hard like it's going to give back to you running backs for so long and we talk all righty, Coach Owen Johnson from Mankato. He gets his first yep. career rushing touchdown as a cherry on top today. It is. Uh, Owen's a tremendous talent. Uh, been with our program now two years and uh, continues to develop. Uh, was, was one of our top scout team players a year ago. And you see that he took that opportunity um, to continue to develop and grow. And um, came here originally as a walk-on, now a scholarship player. And so... Um, Adds, a, adds another dimension to that running back room uh, when you have guys like T-Mac and TK, um, Marie Capinu, and then Owen Johnson. Our, our top four guys, all of them, uh, all, all of them can be three down backs. Uh, they can be in the pass protection part of the game, uh, which is critical for us. And um, it's exciting to see those guys have success. Yeah, pretty cool to see all the teammates coming over in celebration there on that last stage of the game. It is. And, and we have, again, a lot of guys having their first. Uh, Chris Harris had his first collegiate catch today. And you can see the energy on the excitement. A lot of guys getting their first collegiate reps on a special team or on defense. A lot of excitement on the, on the sideline again. Coach, it's time for this week's Great Clips, Great Question of the Game, brought to you by Great Clips. It is from Carl and Carrington. He wants to know, do you ever override offensive or defensive play calls on the field? Uh, occasionally, not very often. I trust our, our coordinators and the decisions. I try to sit in them, visit with them enough during the week uh, that I feel comfortable with what they're calling. Probably, if, if I don't, you're probably more apt to see me make a timeout, call a timeout, let's get out of this. Didn't like it versus that picture. I know that happened once today where we felt good about it and all of a sudden they stemmed into kind of a, a, a pressure off the edge and we called timeout just because we didn't like what we had called against that picture. Um, but again, our coaches do a tremendous job in the preparation phase all week long, all off season. So I got great trust in what they do. Absolutely. More to come here on the Bison Football Show with Coach Ed. Stick with us. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Champions work hard and champions play hard, but none of it happens without the rest and recovery that comes from a good night's sleep. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is the official sleep partner of the NDSU Bison. And just like the herd, they're a proud company founded in North Dakota with North Dakota values and tradition. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is a third generation company now at the showroom in Fargo, offering premium mattresses to help you take your sleep seriously. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems, located on 13th Avenue. You're going to love sleeping with us. We're all players in the waiting game. Whether that's for the day's first flight, the first shot, or the first retrieve. Entire off seasons of prep and practice all pointed at that singular moment each of us live for. First light. Because that's when it all becomes real. And it's finally your time to shine. Shields. I want to do everything to the best of my ability. Travel! My bad. On the court and on the road. If I make a mistake, I want to know. Lane violation! And when I'm at my best, I want to see the rewards. That's why I signed up for the Drive for Less program with NoDeck Insurance. I drive safely so I could save up to 30% on my insurance premium. Driving safe and saving money? That's a good call. Download the NoDeck Insurance app today. I think it's important for us to continue to tell the local stories that are important to our communities. You know, we never take for granted that 
people turn to us when things are at their best or things are at their worst and that they celebrate with us, they laugh with us, they cry with us, they're concerned with us when they watch our nightly newscast. And that's something I don't take lightly and don't take for granted. So thank you for inviting us into your homes every single night. Welcome back to the Fargo Dome. It's the Bison Football Show with Coach Hens. And Coach, 2-0 now yep. after the win. A chance now to diagnose the film, correct what you need to correct, and turn the page. Next week will be Central Arkansas in Week 3. Another exciting atmosphere here in the Dome. Well, we're hoping so. And today was a was an awesome uh, atmosphere, especially early in pregame, the coin flip. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of really cool moments for Bison Nation, for our team uh, in particular, to see you know, have those police officers here, but yeah, we'll we'll use uh, tomorrow to continue to heal up, get healthy, dive it. Monday, we'll kind of put a bow on this game and then start diving into our next opponent. And uh, I know Central Arkansas is a very well coached, uh, good football team. We played them back in 2020. Um, they've been to the playoffs. Um, you know, I think they're well known. They have that purple and gray field. Um, so uh, it'll be fun to have them back here. I know, uh, like I said, uh, very talented. I always have uh, good players. So it'll be a, a, a good week of prep. We're going to have to play well if we want to find a way to go 1-0 and next week. Coach, it'll be home sweet dome the rest of the month. Looking forward yep. to it. And congratulations again. Thank on the you. Win. Appreciate it, Sam. Thank you, Coach. That is it for us here in the Fargo Dome. A big thank you to you for tuning in for our entire WDAY crew and Coach Entz. I I'm Sam Biederman. We'll catch you next week here on the Bison Football Show. Today's Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz has been presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life and Pepsi. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield. WDAY Plus brings you local high school sports on WDAY Extra and streaming on Inforum.com. Cash Clay and Sanford Health present area high school football. The Cheyenne Mustangs play the Shanley Deacons. In